Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, the last presentation, I believe, and I hope I'll not bore you enough and try to keep it active. Um, we are in Oversense. We are a team of people who believe in creating value-based solutions, both for the society and healthcare. I am the CEO and founder of Innovisense AB, and we are developing SMASH, Sweat Metabolite Analysis for Sports and Health. This is my father. I lost him in the year 2006, and the cause of his death was diagnosed to be type 2 diabetes. Um, it is painful to see somebody go through extreme pain and not being able to do anything at all. It all began with his amputation with the finger, and it slowly progressed towards uh, the left limb, and it went on and on. We wished and hoped for a better personalized medicine, but nothing was available. And now it's my turn. I am diagnosed type 2 some time ago. That made me curious to understand what's causing my insulin resistance, and um, you know, how is my disease progressing, uh, how are my you know, lipids and proteins and uh, carbohydrates um, you know, working in my body? Because I believe that glucose measurement is just a reaction to hundreds of chemistries. More than 90% of the total diabetic population are type 2, and 50% of them do not even realize they are type 2, because they do not have any pain or any other symptoms to tell them that they're early diabetic or type 2, unlike an arthritis patient who would have pain in some form. People are suffering due to lack of individualized and personalized medicine, and I think it's time to realize that type 2 diabetics would need comprehensive analysis of multiple parameters in order to understand the pathophysiology of each one of them. Each individual is different, so is the pathophysiology. And we have to find solutions to create better personalized medicines. We at Innovasense understand the need for individualized medicine, and we are using IoT and wearable tech as a means to solve this problem. I'm proud to introduce you to our solution called SMASH. This is underlying magic. SMASH is wearable, SMASH is pain-free, SMASH is multi-parametric, SMASH is a continuous monitoring device, SMASH comprises of a body-worn hardware and an app, and SMASH is a sweat sensor. The three-layered sensor that you're seeing here comprises of the first layer with the electrodes and chemistries on it, and the second layer is the actual microfluidic sensor, which can collect sweat, measure multiple parameters, and replenish the sweat once the measurements are taken. The sensor can be worn on any part of the body, and it's connected to a little Bluetooth-enabled PC board, which will then transmit the signals to the app. Um, together with the hardware, we are also developing an AI-based app where we are trying to study the various multiple parameters and different permutations and combinations, like glucose, ketones, lactate, um, in relation to diet, medication, and exercise, um, which can help us understand the pathophysiology and help us create a personalized medicine for type 2 diabetes, which will, in the end, help the consequences in, in the prevention and uh, postponement postponement of consequences of hyper and hypoglycemia in the long run. This is a patent situation. We have recently filed a PCT for this unique way of collecting sweat, measuring multiple parameters, and replenishing the sweat once the measurements are taken. And we also have a couple of other patents on their way. Uh, we got into this because the market opportunity for this uh, uh, invention or the technology is immense. These are the numbers that are being spent by different parts of the world in trying to treat their early type 2, early diabetic patients and type 2 diabetic patients due to lack of personalized medicine. And these numbers are expected to rise by another 30 to 50 percent in the coming years. And we plan to capture at least 1 percent of this market share in the coming years. This is a competitive landscape. On x-axis, I'm representing the trend which is moving from traditional glucose monitoring towards the tools to self-manage diabetes. Um, in, in the left quadrant over here, these are some companies you know, which are uh, usually used by uh, type 2 diabetes. They do not have any better medicine other than using the pricking devices. Uh, and they cannot create any personalized medicine. So, you know, they're not yet there. And on this quadrant, I'm trying to represent some app companies which are really doing good in the market today. 
um, you know, they, they can bring in some amount of value to the patients if they're trying to upload the glucose values, the food intake, the medication they take and everything. With all the due respect to these companies, you know, they're still lagging behind. They cannot create, uh, you know, a comprehensive analysis or they cannot uh, help us understand the pathophysiology of a diabetic patient. And those companies up above are trying to move towards the trend of multiparametric measurements. Uh, but still, you know, they also are behind uh, and they cannot help us understand uh, the pathophysiology again, uh, like these companies. So this makes us completely unique within this uh, space because we are uh, truly non-invasive, uh, continuous monitoring, and we can provide multiparametric measurements simultaneously. In addition to the device, we also have an app which can make a comprehensive analysis of various multiple parameters. So we believe that we can create a massive impact, not only within the fields of diabetes management, but also within the fields of health and wellness tech. Our business model is B2B. Uh, through attraction, we have discovered that our sensors could also be useful for athletes who would need continuous monitoring of multiple parameters, especially lactate. Uh, that would help them achieve the peak performances. And, uh, you know, we are targeting our minimum viable product or, you know, the so-called beachhead uh, towards athletes uh, as a strategy for us to get the first revenues and first customers while we're trying to get the diabetic device clinically approved. So we will do a combination of licensing and uh, direct selling. And for direct selling, we will adapt, um, you know, the subscription model where we will begin the sales with 250 euros, which includes the device, a pack of sensors and... Um, you know, the uh, app subscription, and then we will start subsequently charging for census and the app. <clears throat> now, you might be thinking, why are we the right team to do this? Uh, we are the right team to do this because we understand the competitive landscape quite well. We have tried and tested every solution that's available in the market, and nothing works. Uh, we are a team of people who know how to build scalable solutions and turn them into profitable businesses. And we know how to drive marketing strategies uh, to attract qualitative customers. So our team is a clever combination of science and technology. Most of the team members have been part of health tech and life science companies before. And I can explain in detail if somebody's interested. Uh, so far, we've been able to raise about 1.5 million Swedish in uh, seed money um, and angel investments. We are pretty proud because we have secured uh, EU, EU Commission SME instrument phase one and uh, also a couple of other grants uh, you know, from, from the region. We are very fortunate about those things. And we use this money to develop the first versions of app, sensors and electronics. And uh, we are proud to announce that we have successfully completed a couple of rounds of bench testing. And we also finished our first pilot study during the month of May, which gave us substantial results um, within, you know, within the wellness and fitness tech, the non-regulated application areas. And we've been able to secure 80 to 85% of accuracy um, levels, and we are you know, quite proud of it. And after this, as a team, we brainstormed and decided to do something with uh, what we already have at hand. Uh, and then, you know, it was the non-invasive lactate sensor, which was more interesting to all of us. And we started discussing with some of these potential partners who could be interested in, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, using a census for their health wearables. And these are some of the partners who fell in love literally with our sensors. And they said, like, yes, I mean, this is amazing. And we would love to, uh, you know, sign the licensing deal if the sensors work like you claim. So now we are trying to produce the first set of sensors so that they can test and give us a licensing option. So, you know, this is a big milestone achieved for us, but obviously we have a journey to do there. Now we are trying to raise about 5 million or half million uh, euros uh, to give us a little marketing push to scale the team, to develop the first set of industrial prototypes, validate them and launch our MVP. Uh, and we are working with a clear strategic ambition towards an exit. Once we launch the MVP, we will take the device to the diabetic uh, uh, clinical approval process. And upon the achievement of CE and FDA, we will progress towards the uh, exit, either through an IPO or a trade sale or a merger or an acquisition. Um, we promise you that we will change the way people think about type 2 diabetes and personalized medicine. We will revolutionize the wearable tech and health tech market with a unique solution. We have a pain, we have a great solution, we have a team, and we have a traction. 
If you'd like to help us and join us in this mission of transforming the lives of millions of diabetic patients, invest in InnovaSense. Thank you.